Well, good afternoon. I'm getting a late start because of thunderstorms. I had to shut down my computers because I was concerned um, with the amount and the, the intensity of the thunder that was all around the house here. This is my mother's birthday, September 20th. Uh, she was born in 1922. Of course, she died quite a few years ago, uh, but I still remember mom your birthday. Happy birthday. The title for the video today is The Struggle for Control. It's quite understandable to feel frustrated living in this world at this time. There are numerous struggles going on simultaneously. However, it all boils down, as I see it, uh, between a struggle for planetary control by the demonically inspired cabal and ordinary people wanting to regain control over our own lives. We, the people, can never be free if, quote, they win. Bear in mind, they want to reduce world population down to a manageable half a billion people, eliminating six and a half billion plus. Do you see the insanity? The only way they can win is by killing all their opposition, people who have the crazy idea of controlling their own lives. Which side are you on? Maintaining the status quo is impossible. We are in a struggle for control that will decide both our future and the future of the planet, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's uh, frustrating for me getting such a late start, but I actually made some notes this morning, but I chose not to create the video till late in the afternoon, not thinking that there was gonna be a major thunderstorm that was going to interfere with my recording, uh, creating, of course, the late, the late time, that uh, later time than I'm used to, let's put it that way. I had uh, lunch today with a couple of my friends and we had quite a discussion, which is one of the reasons I didn't record a video earlier. Uh, I wanted to bounce some things off of them and very few of my friends, I would say probably none of my friends, understand the frustration that I feel uh, in, as a man that's turning 70, that has always had a vision that I was going to play a role in bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth, that I was going to actually see that transition take place in my lifetime. And losing my home, was the biggest devastation that I've ever experienced in my life because I no longer had control over my own roof over my head. Uh, I became dependent on someone else providing me uh, a roof, providing for me a place to live. And my son has done that, but as I've said in other videos, uh, we have very different viewpoints uh, on how things are supposed to be in the world. And I have no problem with him having whatever viewpoint he wants, but sometimes he seems to have a problem with me having the viewpoints that I have because his are different and he wants to challenge my position. I don't, that doesn't set well with me. And I don't want to control him, but I don't want him to control me. And neither do I want to control people. I simply want the basic prime directive. The only law that means anything is do not violate the free will of another. All the rest of them, that's how you show love. See, I won't violate somebody else's free will. It's none of my business. As long as they let me live my life and don't violate my free will. It's a live and let live philosophy. It's a philosophy of love one another, and if you can't love one another, at least respect one another enough to honor their choices. As long as their choices don't, again, directly overrule your choices, because that's a violation. Do you understand? It's so plain to me. And yet I have to rehash this over and over and over again because so few people seem to get it. That's what all I want. All I want 
is for the government to leave people alone. It has no right, no business to manage people's lives. No business to make rules that violate the prime directive. People should be free to do what they want to do so long as it doesn't hurt somebody else. And if they and, and hurting somebody else means to violate someone else's free will. That's the hurt. We have a responsibility as parents when we bring children into the world to try to do our best to protect our children to the best of our ability. We have a responsibility to our neighbors to honor their the boundaries between properties. We have a responsibility to our employers to do our job well and honestly and to live in integrity and to be in integrity at all times. The thing is, we live in a world where integrity is not a value to the people that run the world. It's not a value at all. This is why there is a struggle for control. They want to control you and me and all of us so that we can be nothing more than puppets. Uh, I just realized when I, shoot. Anyway, I, I don't know how long I've gone because I restarted the timer, I started this video and then there was a glitch and I restarted it again and I forgot to restart the timer the second time. And I apologize for that, but. As you know, I try to limit my videos to about 10 minutes, and I don't know when I started because the second time I started recording, I didn't turn the timer on. Shoot. <laughs> anyway, folks, there is a struggle for control, and I want us to win. And by us, I mean all of my brothers and sisters that are willing to live and abide by the prime directive which again is do not violate the free will of somebody else. I'm not asking you to do anything that you don't want to do. I'm not trying to violate your free will. I'm simply asking you to respect my free will and your neighbor's free will because when we all do that, we can actually create a world that works for everyone and it will be a much nicer, a much easier, a much more blessed world than the one that we've experienced and our lives will blossom and we will thrive instead of struggling all the time. I don't want to control. I want simply to be free. Thank you for listening and namaste.